Toops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm gonna come back to strong... To, I'm gonna come back to strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be here waiting for you to prove yourself. <clears throat> May I just add, if anyone happens, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand-year door. When this is done, the star shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the book says. Which means, if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand-year door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magical map? Exactly. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back to Paper Mario, the Thousand New Door. In the last episode, we were taking care of the Bowser and Peach interludes, and I'm very sorry that I split it in half. And Every post-chapter is going to be done like that. I'm going to do the Peach and Bowser in two separate episodes, but they're both going to come out on the same day. So that way it makes a little bit more sense. Anyway, so we're just going to start heading back to Rogueport. It's really all we can do. Let's just start heading back towards Rogueport. We're not gonna hear this music anymore. Holy crap. Oh, oh, I ruined it. Something wrong, Mario? You're, um, shaking. Are you feeling alright? The A button. You open your Game Boy Advance SP. I mean, Mailbox SP. Is it? That's the new Mailbox SP, isn't it? Wow, neat. Did you get some mail? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I don't know where I am, I remain unharmed and in, re in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow, you got mail from the princess? That's cool. Anyway, I've had it with this text. The only thing that mattered was the peach text. <clears throat> I got a sore throat again. It seems like every time I start a new recording session on Thursday, my throat gets very blah, 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 blue. Am I coming in okay? It says I'm like being really quiet, so I'm fixing my mic a few times. Anyway, let's keep going. Ah, I, was, I wasn't even close to you. Get, get away from me. I'll just kill you guys immediately. Power shell. Stylish. However, well, by the way, as you notice, we've got a whole new star move. We got one new star point. The new star move's called um, Earth Tremor, I believe, something like that. It's it's one of the better ones. It's actually an attacking one, which is a lot better than what Eld Star gave you in Paper Mario One. Get away from me, you stupid Goomba! Because if you remember, in the original Paper Mario, Eld Star just gave you um, Refresh or whatever it was called, and it just sucked because it only gave you like. It only gave you like one star. It gave you just like five HP and five BP, which I'm sure at the time was okay, but like still, nah. I always just wish I could make that, and then you can't make it again. Oh wait, oh I made it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, often when I return to Rogueport, I'll actually do, I'll do some of the side quests that you can do with the new powers we've gotten. Like for example, you can now come down here, which I forget what's down here actually. I'm just gonna go. Let's do some exploring. Um, you'll notice that all the post chapters are, they don't have a part one, part two in the corner. What they have is a playlist because there's a little playlist that I won't have on my channel. Oh yes, this is, this is, uh, uh, this is the, if you remember there was, I forget her name, Lovely or something in the other game. And what she did is she would give you powers and then oftentimes she could like double star points. This is the same thing just in the new game and they she decides to make Mario dizzy as opposed to, you know, just making some magical card dance. 
I really don't know why my throw is so sore. My mystic power can make you smile, heart, in battle. You'll win the style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine, since my fortune will thrive, heart. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. Anyway, so I, I'm just going to do that. I might just do some of that off camera, because it always helps. It, there's no downside to activating that from time to time. Anyway. Um, other things you can do here in the Rogueport sewers. Um, you know I said I wasn't going to collect star pieces. Well, if you come over here... My name is Dazzle, and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So, guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay, let's trade. We have only need seven. Oh, I don't have enough. I only have four. I want to get peekaboo. As you know, in this LP, I'm just going to use peekaboo badge. I'm not going to be doing any of the, uh... I'm not going to be doing any of the, you know, um... <clears throat> I'm not going to be doing any title logs or whatnot. Anyway, Luigi's standing right there. Now now I finally have three shine sprites, so I can finally do what I've been meaning to do. If you come here, you talk to him, he goes, Welcome to the home of Merlon, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? I'll just power up Koops because it's the best thing to do. Shazibi! Shazubi! The world is spinning. <laughs> He's like, mm. then you may go. Anyway, now you'll see Koops not only did gain a new move, which is, I believe, the shell shield, also got five more HP. Um, what we're going to want to do is, oh wait, you can't talk to Frankly yet. You have to go straight to the Thousand Year Door. Whoopsie. But luckily, getting to the Thousand Year Door actually gets significantly easier now that we have the powers of turning sideways. You can just go here and then jump down here. I'll even do some of the side quests that I can do in Rogueport that there's no point in doing besides the fact that I have a new move. But the problem is there aren't any new moves that I've learned. I can't even do anything in anywhere else. Um, this way is... That way is blocked. I know what that is. Regardless... We're just going to keep heading off this way. You're going to come down here. I'm just going to head this way. Oh, jeez, more spinnies. Oh, jeez, more spinnies. Um, there's no more powers we can really be using. We already have flight power. So I'll just use that. If there was a way I could find some more star pieces, I would probably do that. Because I just want to get peekaboo badge. But I don't think I know of any ways I can get with just the turn power. Anyway, I'm just going to come through here. You're going to want to take this bouncy thing. If you use this, you'll find something. I know you will. If I don't screw it up, if I don't screw it up... Okay, I didn't screw it up. I thought I was going to screw it up. There's a shine spread up here. And... Oh, I thought I would make it across this. I don't remember what's this way. Oh, I know it's this way. Saving that too much later. Okay, so let's go activate the thousand year door. Um, alright Mario, hold up that crystal star. We hold up the silver star. Yes, that is actually the official name of it. And now we see we have something in the middle there with some yellow, I mean, not yellow stuff, white stuff, and oh, it's a green star. The official name is actually the Emerald Star. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Anyway, I don't know why I used the word recorded. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. You don't even know who Professor Frankly is, Coops. 
Who are you talking about? I see, I see. Crystal clear. Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? It is in the Boggly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in Boggly Woods, huh? About those woods. I think some odd creatures live there. Little things like that. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know. It's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email just her from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't know she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Uh oh, Princess Peach kidnappers are all wait, I don't know I'm doing a Professor Frankly voice. What could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be, uh, too many unknowns? Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars in that map. Um, I guess we all we can do is go to Boggly Woods and find the crystal star. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you low on items or health, drop by the shopping inn first. I'll keep re uh, researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Anyway, y'all, I'm in here... You can get, you can, um, any, any boss or mini boss that you faced only once, if you wanted to get 100% on your title log and you miss a boss, you will get the title log in there. So, not even going in there. Um, we don't have much time left in this episode, I'm just going to check something. Oh, I just realized, I didn't, if you remember in the very first episode, we broke that girl's contact lens, and one thing we completely forgot to do... Because you're supposed to talk to these guys. I should do this now so I don't forget. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Blah, blah, blah. And basically, they pre-order a contact lens. And that will come back in perfect timing because we actually need it in time for the third chapter. So... Anyway, I completely forgot to do that. And I probably could have gotten some star pieces if I did that beforehand. But that's not that big of a deal. Worst comes to worst, I'll just find my way back at another time. I will probably buy the peekaboo badge off screen. But now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head down to kind of where we were before. Basically follow the path you would normally take to the thousand year door. And yeah. And you're going to just start walking. Just go immediately right here and... <gasps> it's one of those things that we saw from the first thing in the in the thing and the, hey Mario you see that that was one of those things Professor Frankly mentioned like yeah we saw it like during the prologue but anyway um you know I'm gonna call an episode here so next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door we are going to be heading off into here and probably starting the second chapter see you guys next time.